I want to teach you a technique called square breathing. This is something I've used in the hospital with patients when I've served as a chaplain and on a detox unit. The beauty of it is it's very simple and it does work pretty quickly uh, to calm our nervous system, slow our heart rate and reduce our blood pressure. So I invite you to get a little comfortable with where you're sitting, feel the points of contact with the chair or the floor, um, wherever position, if you can keep your spine straight and something grounded on the floor, that will help. Take a few deep breaths to get started. Calm yourself and put your hands gently in your lap. You can find a point to gaze at, or you might want to close your eyes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you gaze at the rose window if you like, because I know for many people, it is an image of beauty among our community and one of contemplation. Now for square breathing, you'll inhale for four counts, hold for four counts, and exhale for four counts, wait four counts, and then inhale for four counts so on and so forth, like you're tracing the path around a square. Now, everyone's exact counts may vary. Your pacing of your counts uh, based on your lung capacity and how you're feeling that day. But to demonstrate, I'll count you off so that we can all take a few breaths together. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, Two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Wait, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. One, two, three, four. So you can adapt this for your own pace, depending on where you at are at in a given day and your mood and how your body is feeling. Pretty quickly, because we have control of uh, the voluntary aspect of our breathing, we can then use that as a tool to impact how our bodies and our minds are functioning. And when we do that, we start to be able to see our world and those around us with greater clarity. It may take time, of working on this every day, and it may take time in every session before we really notice a difference. I had a um, student at one point who was practicing meditation with me, um, follow her practice for a couple of weeks, and when she met with me for further uh, directions, she said, okay, I've been doing it, what next? And I said, well, we just keep doing it. And she said, but I finished doing it. And I said, well, you kind of keep doing it for the rest of our lives. It's like walking or eating nutrition, breathing clean air. These are things that we need in an ongoing way to replenish ourselves. And we often think that our brains will just take care of themselves, but they need care just like every other aspect of us. And when we care for ourselves, that has a really big impact on the world. And that is true. The... Uh, in the writers of that sacred text, remember that the same words pointed to divergent realities that are interconnected. Do we have the patience until our mud becomes clear? And then by stillness, little by little, make what is troubled in the broader world clear. And there couldn't be more of a time when the broader world is troubled and that time calls for even more clarity of mind and peace that we can cultivate in our own bodies, minds, and spirits. And may a bit of that peace be with you now and in the week to come. Take care.